Welcome back. I want to have an informal discussion and comparison of the various models of micro welders that Sunstone Engineering makes in the States out of Utah. And I'm hoping that if you are considering um, which model to purchase, whether you want to invest in micro welding or the industry of either permanent jewelry making or uh, jewelry fabrication, or you're a bench um, jeweler, which machine would be best for you? And um, what are some of the things to consider? So I'm hoping that you will find this video helpful. So briefly, um, this is the Zap and it is at 999 US dollars. I'm going to put up, um, there'll be links here for the full product review. So there's that. And then recently they have come up with Zap Plus and Zap Plus with Argon um, regulator and PJ tool, uh, a full kit. This is at $1,300 and this is at $1,500. And I have up here a full product review with comparison between these three. Then we have here at $2,400, it is a big jump. And I'm gonna discuss how we got about this. This is my favorite and my first love. Um, it is the Impulse 30 with, and that's at 20, $2,400. I'm gonna discuss the, the power range as well. And I have full um, assembly and product review for each one of those. Um, and then the Orion PJ, permanent jewelry. And this is at $2,800. So there is a full range and you wonder, oh, how come, what is the major difference? So we'll get started. Actually, it's very interesting. Um, this came out and at first it was for welding, for jewelry. And I bought this several years, many years ago. Uh, it was fantastic technology. It's sturdy, it is your workhorse, it's great. Um, now, this has um, the digital screen, it's got locking mechanism, um, which is an add-on since I bought mine. It's great. Um, and the power range is from three watts to 30. And I'm, look at the product review because it, I, I try testing out different things and what you can do and what, what wattage. Then they came up with the PJ because they found that actually a lot of people were buying this for permanent jewelry. And then they listened to what some of the people wanted um, and they came up with this. Now, the major difference is if you are uh, a high-end salon, um, jewelry store, and you are providing PJ service and you want um, all the very pretty things that go with the store theme aesthetically, this is the most pleasing. And so that was a major difference with that. Um, it's just aesthetically more pleasing. The settings are perfect for PJ. And then later on, um, because actually there, that's quite, quite the, um, quite a few pretty pennies, they launched something more affordable to compete um, with the other welders that are not as good a quality, but that many um, people in the permanent jewelry industry wanted. They wanted something safe that was a little bit more affordable um, 
And so they made it a lot more affordable at $1,000, so almost a third the cost. And this is um, entry level, bare bones, day in day out this is going to get the work done it doesn't have the digital digital display the range is only um, 3 to 10 watts but it that 90% of your permanent jewelry it should be done between 5 and 7 watts so that's plenty of power and I have full review on that and then because there was more competition as they see how um, well when things are going well there are a lot of me too products out there and um, with more competition they decided well everyone wins actually it's the consumers that win um, it came out with them something that has the power range of all of this and the stylus that we like and it is a lot more affordable so basically they really wanted to sink the new competition um, that is out there anything and to to hold on to territory so they they really did the job so say if you currently don't own any welders or you have a, one of the unbranded or no-name brands um, there are some from Alibaba that's out there and they are not that expensive and you'll see that um, on Facebook groups there in reviews um, there have been mixed reviews so um, I always think that it's better for these things business-wise to go with a company that has, I would say, uh, customer service, reliable, deep pockets, help you um, if there are any problems in the future. So that's really important. Now, if budget is tight and it's, concern, it's a concern, yeah, go with this. This will get all the work done and you can build your business and then be able to afford everything that the full Cadillac um, of welders but this will get get it all done the other thing um, with any of these is it's great for backup now if you are able to afford more I would say that about value and value wise I think these two are the best this includes argon um, regulator as well now uh, there is take a look at my product review with, with the details I like this if you are in a salon or a store where the customers are in C and you're interacting I think having the digital display is a plus this does not have a locking mechanism, but it's very, um, it's sturdy, so that's okay. This has a locking mechanism. These two have the locking mechanisms for um, the power, and it's pretty, and it just looks pretty. So I think between these two, um, if money is tight, tighter, I would go with this. Um, but if you can afford it, these. These are great. So that is my general overset, general overview of these different welders. Well, if you already own a PJ, because it's very popular, this would be a very good backup because with this, um, the parts are interchangeable with the PJ. The stylus and if you can afford this um, for a little bit more you already have the argon you don't have to use argon to have a secure weld because it is small unlike um, welding iron beams where yes argon is 
uh, necessity. So I would say if, if you own that and money is still tight, or if you um, have other stations, have this as a backup. I think it's a great idea. The other thing, if you own welders and you have some apprentice uh, or you are doing fabrication and you sometimes have entrance students, people that you would get really upset over if they messed about your machine and you want something sturdy and less expensive, having some of these are great. I sleep better at night that I'm able to allow my daughters to use this and I'd be very upset if they dropped all my fancier equipment. Now for a brief recap. You have the entry level Zap at 999 US dollars. It has the power range of three to 10 joules, the basic stylus and everything you see here, plus a three month warranty. Next is a Zap Plus at $1,299. It has the power range of one to 30 joules, the deluxe stylus, everything you see here, plus a three year warranty. Then there is the Zap Plus with standard ADL for 1499 US dollars. It has the power range of one to 30 joules, the deluxe stylus, the standard ADL, the argon gas regulator, a PJ starter kit of tools, and a three year warranty. Then we have the Orion Impulse 30 at 2400 US dollars. It has a power range of 3 to 30 joules, the deluxe stylus, ADL, and digital display, plus a three year warranty. And then we have the Orion PJ at 2800 US dollars. It has been created especially for the permanent jewelry boutiques. And it has the power range of 1 to 15 joules, the deluxe stylus, ADL, and digital display with customizable background, plus a three year warranty. I hope you like the comparison. I will include a link to a comparison chart listing all of the models and their features. And before you go, let me know in the comments your welder of choice. I'd love to hear from you.